Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Thank you guys for taking time to like my videos if you enjoy them, as well as hit the subscription um, button and the notification bell to know when I upload. I love reading you guys' comments. I don't get a chance to reply to all of them, but I love reading them. So let's go ahead and see what it is that y'all need to know right now. What do we have here? We have building your world, creation, expansion, networking. Okay, so we have 33 here. Um, this talks about you guys manifesting in what it is that you want, right? Really visualizing where it is that you want to be, how you want to feel when you get there, right? Um, it's giving me like three of wands energy. We have adjustment, looking back, moving forward. So... This is just a reminder that, you know, as you're moving forward here, that's what's helping you to get that momentum, okay? But anytime, you know, we're consecutively just looking back at everything that has happened in the past, you know, that just stifles us, right? So I feel like what you guys are doing here is you're looking at um, different things you need to work on within yourselves, right? So that you can better align with where you want to be, right? So having a very... Um, decisive plan of action of where you want to go you guys are very clairvoyant here right this is high priest or high priestess energy here so using your skill set your talents here um are, are what's helping you manifest in what's coming in for you okay you guys are an inspiration as well there's something about you guys really being able to pay attention um, to the signs that are around you. Maybe you get messages in dreams like I do. Maybe you see different signs when you go out, different angel numbers as well. Um, it, this is also about trusting your abilities here and trusting that you can create what it is that you want for your life. So let's go ahead and get another message here. Yeah, you guys are releasing... Um, any type of uh, strongholds when it comes to a, a, a scarcity mindset here. Okay, I definitely feel like you guys are releasing different... Well, I don't want to say necessarily releasing. Some of you guys definitely are releasing people that haven't seen your worth, right? Um, that didn't really give to you. But I feel like you guys are also limiting contact, um, you know, with people that you're noticing when you leave a conversation with them, you know, you feel drained, right? Um, I feel like that's what you guys are doing as well. So as you're releasing, um, you know, different people or different things that are just of a lower vibration, that is what's helping you build where it is that you want to be. Because this is giving me like the four of pentacles here. So I don't know if somebody here... Um, you really you really could be picking up on somebody else's energy right now. Maybe they're going through a lot of loss. Maybe they're they're feeling like they don't have enough here. Okay, somebody definitely could have been playing the victim within a connection here. You guys are taking accountability for your own actions, right? Good and bad. And I feel like what you're doing is, you know, you're just cultivating your next steps, right? Your next path. So that's beautiful energy. The reason why I say you just don't release everybody because, you know, sometimes it might be family, right? Or sometimes it could even be co-workers, people that you have to work around. So you can't necessarily just get rid of everybody, but you can, you know, definitely limit your, um, your conversation with them. And that's for somebody. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some messages. What do y'all need to know right now? What does the Diamond Star C Collective need to know right now? Oh, here we go. So we have, can you ever trust me again? Wow, somebody's really kicking themselves. And then we have, I see you in my future being my wife and us having kids or being my husband and us having kids here. So someone definitely sees y'all as wife or husband material. Some of you guys could even be spouses. Um, but somebody feels like for them to get to this point, there has to be trust reestablished, okay? For some of you guys, they gave an offer to the wrong person, and now they're just really wrapped up in the thought of you, okay? Yeah, it's a separation situation for some of you guys here. Somebody is really wide awake to how they contributed to you guys being apart here. And for some of you, it very, it very well could be the fact that someone didn't make a decision, okay? Or somebody here... Um, 
didn't have the cajones, okay, to leave something that didn't serve them. It says, you trigger me like crazy, but I still can't stay away from you. <laughs> so y'all's light is out here uh, triggering somebody's demons. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody, um, yeah, I don't know. There could be something that you said to somebody that they are reevaluating that they didn't want to take a look at here. This person definitely, it says your smile lights up my world. So this person thinks that you have a very beautiful smile or you just really have a beautiful energy around you. Maybe you're very witty as well. Like maybe you and this person um, have really great conversation. What else? Oh Lord, now they want to talk about the karmic. So it says my karmic is such a flirt. Yeah, we already know that. <laughs> okay. We already know that, Carmi Sherquan. So some of y'all, they're separating from Carmi Sherquan because they ain't called Carmi Sherquan doing something. And we've already seen in multiple readings before here, before this that people were just doing the most. Okay, they, they really were. So with your in my head here, it's like this person feels like you have some type of stronghold over them. Okay, they, they um, are continuously thinking about you here. They're definitely healing from the past. This person could also be healing trust issues from the past as well, right? Because um, I feel like whatever situation they have been dealing with has left them feeling, um, God, I hope not. I'm hearing like a failure. So somebody is feeling like whoever they're dealing with constantly has them feeling like they're a failure, like they're not good enough, like they're not doing enough, okay? And for some of y'all, this is how this person could have made y'all feel, right? I mean... But I feel like somebody is really learning a powerful lesson on um, on who to uh, who to give their energy to, right? Who to spend time with, who to be around. Yeah, this is somebody that feels like they're connected on a soul level with you. Okay, they have some type of past life connection with you, and they want to talk about a new chapter with you. Okay, it says falling in love all over again, picking up where we left off here. Somebody. Dang, they really want y'all back bad. <laughs> they want y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. That's what somebody really wants here. Okay. What's going on here for the collective? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Somebody always talking about a damn sex tape. Somebody could be in the industry with that card coming out the way that it is. But anyways, yeah, they've been going around in circles here. Okay. This person couldn't make a decision. They were getting nowhere. But indecision is a decision, right? So if somebody is acting like they don't know what to do about a situation or it's too complicated, yes, it very well could be complicated. Um, but if they're not, if it's a choice between two people and they're not choosing to, to really speak their peace and follow their heart or follow the, the red signs that are all around them, okay, they are pretty much indirectly making a decision and their decision is that they are sticking in some connection that doesn't serve them right but i feel like somebody is definitely healing from the fact that you know uh whoever they've been dealing with they feel like they can't trust that person at all or they feel like that person you know is just using them or belittling them or um I don't know. They feel like things were a hot mess within that connection. It says, mark my words, promises, meaning what I say won't let you down here. So yeah, this is yet again, this is somebody that wants to be, um, and for some of you guys, this is somebody else around you. Okay. It doesn't have to be like a main X energy that we pick up on, or this is somebody that you're manifesting in. Um, that's going to mean what they say. That's not going to let you down. Okay. Cause I feel like whoever else y'all were dealing with, you know, they still have a lot that they're healing from whatever past situation that they're dealing with yeah y'all making people nervous out here <laughs> okay y'all making people nervous out here i don't know if you realize that or not that's what i'm seeing so let's go ahead and get into the tarot see what else we have for the collective what does the collective need to know here We got a brand new beginning. Some of you guys, this is a new um, a new financial endeavor, okay? This could be even a new job, or this could be somebody looking at you for some type of work opportunity. Um, I definitely feel like you guys are getting more and more inspired and motivated, or that's the energy that's coming in for you, 
right? Because after the Ten of Wands, it circles back to the Ace of Wands. So you guys are really seeing a situation where it was a lot of burdens, okay? I'm definitely seeing that. With the Eight of Pentacles, you guys are definitely focused on your bag here. I do see your finances increasing. I do see somebody spending a lot of time thinking about you throughout the day, okay? At work or, you know, even at home, whatever. The Eight of Pentacles doesn't just have to be, you know, at work, right? It's something that people do daily. So whatever somebody's doing daily, oh my God, baby, they are obsessed, okay? What they obsessed about here? about wondering about a relationship so wondering about a relationship with you some of you they could be um thinking and wondering about a toxic uh contract that they're in with a third party okay somebody is stressed here somebody definitely um feels like they're being weighed down by something that's not for their highest good here and so it's like they, they want to listen to the divine. This is this is somebody waking up to the fact that they need to make changes here. Okay. Yeah, with the five of wands and the high return, there's a lot of arguing going on within a relationship or a marriage here. There's a lot of drama here. Somebody is over that. Okay, they've had enough. They have had enough. Gosh, damn, the devil and the nine of swords. Somebody is stressed, y'all. This person here. <sighs> this is giving me the energy of somebody sleeping with what I open. Like somebody, they don't trust who they sleeping with or they don't trust who they partner together with here. Something, somebody is thinking about something over and over and over again within their mind. Yeah, they're thinking about some type of betrayal or some type of ending here. Wow, I feel like this person just wants peace in their life. That's what they need. Somebody here definitely needs some peace and some prayer here. Yeah, with the strength reverse here, it's like somebody is giving up on a situation that they know is toxic. That's what I'm seeing in this spread here. They definitely could be dealing with somebody with dark attachments here, dark entity attachments here. Yeah, there it is, Karmisha Kwan. Boy, they always got to make an appearance, huh? <laughs> they always got to make an appearance. Yeah, they feel like whatever situation they're in, it's just constant attack after attack, right? Yeah, that's too much. Nobody wants to deal with that all the time. Okay. King of Swords, that's the truth. Yeah, somebody knows that they need to cut out. I'm hearing quite a few people. So some of you... Um, somebody could be afraid to be alone so they just always or they just love having a lot of different people around them and those people are not high vibrational okay those people could just be around this person because this person is um you know is charming or is a go-getter or they feel like they could even get something from this person or there could even be like a lot of lust involved as well <coughs> yeah that ain't the way to go I feel like right now, this is what y'all are focused on right here. This Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's what's coming in for you guys, okay? That's what you guys are um, maintaining and expanding here, okay? Some of you guys could be diversifying your portfolio, okay? So maybe there's going to be different um, type of investments that you guys are looking into, okay? Or adding to your portfolio, right? Um I definitely feel like someone sees that they could have had everything with you and they're really obsessed about that right now. Like they really keep thinking about what they should have did differently. Yeah, with the seven of pentacles here, someone put a lot of time, love, and energy into a situation here. Or they put a lot of money into a situation. But if you take three, if you take uh, seven pentacles away from the ten of pentacles, you get the three of pentacles here. Okay. So somebody could feel like whoever they were dealing with, whether this was, you know, at work or whether this was within a relationship, that they were not being appreciated, that the other person was not collaborating well with them at all. Okay, yeah, somebody's trying to put an end to that cycle with the world card here. Okay, they want to wrap that up. A lot of you guys, this is you guys getting success for something that you have diligently been pouring into or that you've diligently been working on here. This definitely is a call to ground you guys' energy because I definitely feel somebody is trying to project 
uh, their energy onto you. So if you're starting to feel tired or if you're starting to get headaches, just know you're picking up on somebody else's energy. Yeah, somebody getting all kinds of crazy because you guys have some type of offer coming or somebody that wants to message y'all. Okay. Some of you guys, this is you developing some type of skill or talent that you have. And as you continue to, to develop it, it's going to bring you a lot of worldwide success for some of you. It really could be international success um, or just going to uh, really um, elevate your financial standing here. So y'all got somebody that's obsessed with y'all. Okay. <laughs> and then you got somebody else as well that's coming in that wants to get to know you. So new love is definitely here. And a lot of you is coming in because with the world card, you know, you closed up old cycles here. Yeah, gosh, the devil and the queen of wands reverse. Boy, if that ain't a Karmisha or Kwan combination. Yep. That's why this third party is getting crazy because they feel like this person's coming towards y'all with the Knight of Cups here. They're just traveling. They feel like this person's traveling towards y'all. So somebody is real angry here. Okay. They are. They could be feeling insecure as well. Lacking confidence here. Obsessed about what this person is doing. Okay. This is also the combination of somebody, you know, trying to uh, whip up different potions and whatever else to try to use. To affect somebody's stability, but clearly it's not working because you guys are still abundant here. Somebody doing entirely too much. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, the High Priest is in reverse, y'all. Damn. Why does this have to be the message? <laughs> tired of these karmic call goals this is somebody that's abusing their intuitive abilities here or they're paying somebody um to do that they're what they're trying to do is they're trying to bind somebody so that they won't be left okay and if they're not prevalent in the arts but with this combination somebody definitely is paying somebody that is okay in the dark arts if they're not prevalent in that, then this is somebody just over and over and over again in their mind thinking negative things about you, about your person, or about you both being together, okay? Hoping that that'll manifest in. Yeah, somebody over here, they, this, this third party lacks self-control. They really do. Wow, somebody's doing way too damn much. I feel like it's because somebody spoke their truth to them. So they know it's a wrap. They know it's a wrap. Somebody's definitely accusing somebody of cheating with that Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, somebody definitely is very angry. Oh, wow. Hoping that somebody will not listen to their intuition and continue to give to them. And for a lot of y'all, it's financially. I, I just can't with this energy. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. What's the strength card? What's the strength card for the collective? Yeah, we have the temperance card here. Yeah, they want somebody to give up on an earth angel energy. That's what they want somebody to do. And all this crazy stuff is happening in the background. And I feel like y'all are at peace here. Like, this doesn't have anything to do with y'all. I mean, it... it they uh, Well, they could be bringing you up and things like that. But I mean, in your own world, you're in peace, okay? You're alchemizing different situations that you're going through, right? transmuting negative situations to something positive. You don't have time for the BS. And here's somebody trying to attack an earth angel energy over here, okay? All over somebody from the past with the six of cups, okay? Somebody could have kids with somebody as well. Somebody needs to walk away or accept that somebody has walked away already instead of trying to do mirror magic and everything else to try to get somebody back with them here. Nobody wants to be in a situation where they're arguing all the time. Okay, that's not happy. <laughs> you know, that's that's not something that you want that you want to um deal with on a daily basis. What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles here, please? <sighs> yeah, the justice here. So for some of y'all, you could be dating somebody and taking it to the next level. Somebody could really want to go to the justice of the peace and get married to y'all here. This is what they've been thinking about here. Okay, this is what somebody has been fantasizing about here. Or it's coming to light also that somebody is definitely getting a divorce 
and trying to get out of a situation with somebody that they feel um, they're not getting along with no more. They just feel like the betrayals are too much or they're just realizing that they're on two different paths here. Yeah, what's the Seven of Pentacles? The Lover's card. Yeah, someone had a decision here. Somebody is very attracted to y'all. Somebody wants to invest into you guys. That's what I'm seeing. You guys could have multiple different people around you that want to have a relationship with you. Like, that's definitely coming in. Or it's already around you here. Yeah. Some of you guys definitely have your boundaries up. You're cutting out anybody, though, that that's, can't make their mind up. You don't have time for that energy. You really don't. What's the world card? Wow, the three of wands in reverse. Well, I see a lot of things. Yeah, you guys are not waiting on somebody from the past to make a decision about who they want to invest in because this person has been given um, e either energetically or financially to the wrong people, okay? It doesn't just have to be lovers. Somebody here also, you know, could be giving to different friends around them, right? Maybe they have people that are leeches that are around them that are just trying to take from them. Yeah, and I also see that somebody's spell work that they were trying to do against you guys to affect whatever, um, to, to affect somebody, whatever success you have coming in, right? Or also to try to uh, prevent this person from closing a cycle with them, it has backfired. It's backfired on whoever this is here. Yeah, because with the Nine of Pentacles, this is still the pre-Empress or pre-Emperor energy here. So your finances are protected. You're protected. You're divinely protected here. But of course, because, you know, when you're dealing with people that are in lower vibe, and these are people that know better, okay? The high priestess in reverse is somebody that knows better, okay? They know good and well what they're doing is wrong, but they're still choosing to do it anyways. So when people are dealing with people like that, that's why they're getting karma over here. Because it's not like they're just, oh, you know, just casually um, trying to throw shots at you. No, this is somebody actively, you know, with, with a set schedule trying to come against you guys. And I'm hearing they're being rebuked. Wow. They're being rebuked, y'all. Okay. <laughs> wow. Here we go. What's the page of pentacles for the collective, please? The page of pentacles. Yeah, the hermit card here. I feel like you guys are moving in silence. That's what you're being guided to do. You could be spending a lot of different a lot of time alone. And somebody definitely wants to come out of ghost mode to communicate with y'all. But I feel like this isolation here is what's bringing together a connection. So whether, you know, it's a reunion with somebody or whether it's with somebody new here, I mean, this is what y'all have coming in. Okay, this is um, somebody that, you know, already has feelings for you or is going to love you and is going to reciprocate your time, your love, your energy, right? This is somebody that is going to, um, like it says right here, right, mean what they say. That's what's coming in for y'all. I can't make it up. Yep, the Ace of Cups here. So it's either a reunion or it's new love coming in for some of you guys, right? This is one month, this is two months. So within one to three months, if you guys are open to it, just continue to keep your heart space open because that's what's coming in for you guys. And yes, you definitely have somebody that's trying to cock block you from the past that doesn't want you to move on with this five of wands here. Yeah, this is a situation that you already have deemed to be, um, you know, there's too many mind games, too much, too much manipulation here, a, a lot of drama. Somebody definitely wants to apologize. They want that reconciliation. They're trying to uh, run some type of interference here on you having new love if this is an ex that you don't want back here. But this person's under spiritual judgment here for how they treated you and, and how they thought that they were going to get away with whatever it is that they were doing and whoever they conspired together with against you for some of you guys. Yeah. And a lot of it has to do with... Uh, 
Wow. Them trying to hold on to you, but holding back here. Now they're going through some type of tower moment and having some type of painful ending all because they were trying to end something or come against or they treated an emperor or an empress wrong here. That's what I'm seeing. Now this person really wants to communicate. Wow. Okay. Huh. <laughs> you know, why people always have to realize too late. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up with a couple messages here for you guys. What do we have? Yep, you're being tested here. I feel like somebody is trying to try to use some type of lust or play on your emotions to try to tempt y'all. That's what I'm seeing here. All because they see that you're in your winning season here. That's what they see. But I feel like whoever this person is, they are not in their winning season. That's why it was in reverse. Okay, so they want to come on over to you because they see that you have that growth and that expansion, right? That you're building your own world or your own empire like we saw on that Oracle card. Yeah, no rain, no flowers. Everything that you've gone through here is just watering what you've planted to grow. So little by little, you guys are making progress here. Anything else? Yeah, make time to rest and recharge as well. Bam, karmic ending. Or this person is definitely ending something with a karmic here. And then we have over here, you will be the first in your family to be a millionaire or for some of you guys, multi-millionaire, okay? So put me some hearts and some money bags down below and some travel emojis because I feel like y'all gonna be traveling for some of you. Love you guys, namaste.